Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. I'm here with not one but two Samsung uh, four and a half inch phones. On the left we have the Infuse 4G and on the right we have the Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch on Sprint. And something I wanted to show you now, TouchWiz has gotten infinitely better over the years, especially if you used it back in the old uh, Winmo days, <laughs> but it is much, much better now. So the Infuse has a slightly older version of TouchWiz than what you'll get in the Epic 4G Touch. And, you know, I mean, they're both very colorful. They're both actually pretty good. I like them a lot. Uh, but one thing that didn't change in this version is adding something to the home screen. So if you hold down, you know, you get the option to add to home screen. Very, very boring. I hate the way it works. You get lists. You can't really get an idea of what's going where. Uh, but throw that out the window because in this new version of TouchWiz, they've done an excellent job of uh, updating that and give you better options. So if you hold down now, you still see the home screen and you get add to home, see widgets, shortcut, wallpapers, folders. Same thing as the list, only it's visual and you still see the home screen. And you can actually scroll among the home screens and choose where you want to go. It's actually almost akin to Honeycomb and what you can do there. So very nicely done, Samsung. If you choose widgets, you get the uh, widgets down here on the bottom. And then you choose what you want to go where. So let's find a blank one. Say we want to put this clock up there. Just drag it up. So you can see what you're putting there as you're going through the list. Very, very well done. Worth a mention. It's worth two mentions. I'll probably rave about that for a while. Samsung did excellent with that. So good job.